A Georgia appeals court ruled yesterday that um, the effort by our uh, Secretary of State, Raffensperger, who a lot of people thought was a hero for a brief period of time, what Raffensperger tried to do was eliminate Saturday voting the day after, uh, two days after uh, Thanksgiving. That had been established by the state legislature here, I, I, I think. But it, it's been in effect, and I, I have to tell you, I live here, so I know what I'm saying. Saturday voting has been a, a, a popular way for working class black folk to get to the polls. In fact, for working class black people who here in the South don't have the protection of a union, don't have this, don't have that, they have to work every fucking day. So on Saturday, like Sunday voting, those are the days when black folk can get to the polls. White people can go any goddamn time they want to. Hey, boss, I'm going to go vote. Okay, see you later. So it was established here, I'm not sure how long ago, a number of years ago, that voting on Saturday, two days after Thanksgiving, would be acceptable, be allowed, of course. Because we begin early voting tomorrow, Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So, our Republican Secretary of State, these Christian fascists, Brad Raffensperger, had told county election officials in the state here that early voting could not be held on Saturday because state law says, now listen up, Georgia state law says it's illegal to vote on a Saturday if there is a holiday on the Thursday or Friday preceding it. Well, Thursday is Thanksgiving, and Friday is a state holiday. What state holiday? Well, the state holiday that is acknowledged here in Georgia on the Friday after Thanksgiving, or the uh, Saturday after, I'm sorry, Friday after Thanksgiving, that state holiday is referred to as a state holiday. It used to be called Robert E. Lee Day. Yes, amen, Robert E. Lee fucking day. Yeah, and about eight, seven, eight years ago, the governor of Georgia said, enough of that shit. We're going to get rid of that, at least get rid of the name. We'll still keep it as a holiday, but we're going to call it state holiday. State holiday, what? Nothing, man, just state holiday. But us white folks, us sons of Confederate veterans will know, Dutch, dutch, wink, wink. It's really still Robert E. Lee's birthday, but we don't want the coloreds to know about it. <laughs> wow. The uh, campaign of Raphael Warnock and the Democratic Party of Georgia and the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee sued last week to challenge what Raffensperger was trying to do. What he was trying to do was to take away a very important voting day that is acknowledged by a lot of folks, but primarily, I'm going to take a risk and say primarily, by black folk in this state to go ahead and vote. So Raffensperger saw a way to give a leg up to this idiotic fucker named Herschel Walker, who is a uh, candidate for the Republican Party. Ha <laughs> ha, isn't that funny? Yes, indeed. So, Warnock's campaign and the Democratic Party of Georgia and the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee all sued last week to challenge what the Christian fascist Brad Raffensperger was trying to do. Raffensperger was trying to do the same thing that Brian Kemp, the governor of Georgia, when he was Secretary of State, what he did, what Brian Kemp did, he eliminated the right to vote for about a quarter of a million black Georgians and got away with it. So Raffensperger, being another Christian terrorist, he thought, well, what the fuck? I guess I can do it, too. All these uh, people think I'm a hero because I wouldn't go along with Trump's little scheme. 
But that's because I don't like Trump. Actually, I don't like Negroes either, <laughs> especially the ones that think they're going to reelect Raphael Warnock. Oh, no. I'm going to hold my nose and vote for, you know, the football player. Jesus, I hate these people. So the Saturday following Thanksgiving Thursday and state holiday Friday is the only possibility for Saturday voting before next month's Senate runoff election between Warnock and and Walker. But, surprise, surprise, a judge in Fulton County, the county whose prosecutor is going after this filthy pig Donald Trump, Fulton County Superior Court Judge Thomas Cox issued an order siding with the Warren camp, Warnock campaign and the Democratic groups. And this judge found that the law cited by the state regarding Saturday voting after a holiday does not apply to a runoff election. Ha ha ha, motherfuckers. Y'all try to, 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 to find a way to get the, again, to get the nose of the camel under the tent flap, you racist pigs. Well, this judge found a way to punch the camel right in the nose and back him back out. The state laws regarding Saturday voting after a holiday doesn't apply in a runoff election. Hardy, har, har, har. So, lawyers for the white regime that runs Georgia the state of Georgia, filed an appeal yesterday with the Georgia Court of Appeals. And they asked the court to immediately issue a stay against the order that came out of Fulton County. The the white devils argued in the court filing that the the ruling by the uh, uh, Fulton County judge was erroneous for procedural reasons but also that the judge was wrong to consider the runoff a separate type of election rather than a continuation of the general election. In a one-sentence order yesterday, the Georgia Court of Appeals raised the middle finger to Raffensperger and told him to get the fuck out of of their courtroom. (laughs) Actually, uh, it wasn't a middle finger raised, although I like to put it that way. In a one-sentence order yesterday, the Georgia Court of Appeals declined to stay the lower court ruling. So, so, uh, and according to what I have here, election law that was passed in this miserable state, a miserable state where it concerns, you know, how the state is run by the white folk. But back in 2021, last year, there was election law uh, passed here that compressed the time period between the general election and the runoff to four weeks. Before that, it, it was a longer period of time. Now, I have no problem with that, but, but Thanksgiving falls in the middle of this compressed time. And I think the plan was, well, if, if we acknowledge Thanksgiving, which is a terrorist holiday, it really is. Come on, think about it. I hope a lot, I, I would imagine a lot of people now when they celebrate Thanksgiving, they're just thankful for family and friends and and uh, a roof over their head and a hot meal. But back in the day, remember what Thanksgiving was all about. Well, we sat down with the engines and they showed us how to cook turkeys and boil up uh, maize and yada, 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 while we were figuring out ways to commit genocide against them and take their land. (laughs) But anyway... Thanksgiving on Thursday, Robert E. Lee's birthday on Friday. Oops, no voting for you on Saturday. Well, not true anymore. But the nerve, I I, I mean, it's just incredible to me. Why not, if we live in a uh, self-governing country, don't laugh, (laughs) if we live in such a place... Why not make voting the easiest thing ever to do? All you have to do is register to vote. And when you register, you provide proof that you're an American citizen and that you're 18 or older. That's all. And if you do that, 
Your journey to become a voter in America is now, or your journey to register as a voter in America is now complete. That's all. None of these fucking little wormy holiday, uh, you can't do it on this holiday, and you can't do it through the mail, and you can't do it this way, and, you know, all we're trying to do is stop the Negroes! And probably other people of color, too, because, you know, us white folk are soon going to be a minority, and goddamn, what happens then? <laughs> it's just, it's so crazy. So, anyway, here in Georgia this Saturday, <clears throat> I'll be voting tomorrow, early voting on Wednesday, but uh, this Saturday, folks who are inclined to go vote will be able to, even though the white, male, Christian Secretary of State of the state of Georgia tried to use the court system to stop people of color from voting, period. That's it. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.